Hi y'all, it's me, Miss Mason, and I am here for our next part of our hallway drawing. I'm having some technical difficulties with my phone, so we're trying it this way. So, hopefully it works. All right, so tilting my thing down, and I will flip this in the video so you can see it better. Okay, so we're gonna try and do a fountain and lockers, okay? Because I know you guys are really excited about going to middle school next year. So we're gonna draw some lockers that are sticking out of the wall, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line from the floor, not quite to the ceiling, because lockers aren't actually that tall. And you can see I've actually started this before. You can see ghosts of my old lines and my phone kept quitting on me so hopefully this works all right let's see can you see that there we go that's better okay so that's the back edge of the locker now we're going to draw the part that sticks out onto the floor okay so i'm just going to use my ruler i don't have to use a vanishing point because it's sticking out into the floor okay I don't know how to explain it, except that that's just the way it is. So I'm just going to draw a little line, okay? And then I'm going to guesstimate the same kind of line up at the top here. Again, parallel to the edge of the paper, sticking out so you don't have to use your vanishing point, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and, you, and connect those two. It's okay if one's a little short. I can catch it in a minute. Make sure your ruler is parallel to the edge of the paper. Okay, so I'll just fill that in right there. No big deal. All right, so that is the side of the locker that is sticking out. Okay, so it's getting a little bit easier to imagine. Now, I'm going to switch to my envelope because you don't need to measure anything. You just need a straight edge. So if you all you have is an envelope, that's fine. This time I'm going to use my vanishing point because my locker is going to look like it's going back in space. Okay. So I'm going to line it up with a vanishing point and this corner and draw just the front of the locker. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing up here. I'm going to guesstimate. Okay, pencil in the vanishing point. Okay, let's see. Are those going to line up? Well, we'll see. Again, making sure that my envelope is parallel to the edge of the paper. You don't want it wonky. You want it nice and straight. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, now I'm gonna erase this line here. We don't need that anymore. All right, so now you can see your locker is sticking out of the wall, okay? Now we get to draw the actual lockers. So I'm just gonna kind of Draw a line from top to bottom of the locker, and another one, top to bottom. That's pretty good. It's a little bit thick, but that's okay. No big deal. And then there's usually a top and a bottom locker, so I'm going to divide this right in half. And for that, I'm going to use my vanishing point, but I'm going to draw just a straight line, okay, because it's right in the middle. So straight line. There we go. Okay. And then most of the time the lockers have vents so that your stinky gym shoes don't stink up your locker. So I'm gonna draw those. I'm gonna use my vanishing point for that. So one in each locker, tilt it a little bit, keep it in the vanishing point. Another one in each locker, tilt it a little bit, still using my vanishing point. Another one in each locker, okay. And then I'm going to use my vanishing point to make sure that the handles are lined up. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to do the same thing for my top lockers, which now that I think about it are a little short, but that's okay. Vanishing point, vent, vent, vent. Okay, tilt, rotate a little bit, keep it in the vanishing point. Vent, vent, vent. Rotate, keep it in the vanishing point, vent, vent, vent. Okay, now we need our handles on this one, these lockers, so I'm going to keep my vanishing point. One, two, three. There we go. There's lockers, okay? Now, 
water fountain is going to be very similar because it's going to be sticking out into the hallway. Okay. So again, I'm going to make this one a little bit closer though. No, I'm not closer. Just right there. So I'm going to draw the back of my water fountain, not super tall, okay, just from the floor straight up. And then I'm going to draw the bottom of it. Try to keep your envelope or your ruler straight. That's going to stick out more because it's a water fountain, okay? And then I'm going to draw the next line. Try to make sure it's straight. Guys, it's real important that you make sure your lines are all straight. Take your time drawing them. Don't be in a hurry. All right, and then the top of the side, again, I don't have to use my vanishing point for this because it's sticking out into the hallway, okay? And then I'm just going to erase that line. All right, so there's our water fountain sticking out, our rectangle. That's the side of it. Now the front of it, we have to use our vanishing point. Okay, so pencil in the vanishing point, line it up with that bottom corner, and then draw your line. Just a little line, doesn't have to be real big. Okay, and then I'm going to draw my vertical line. Again, make it parallel to this one. I'm kind of guesstimating that's probably too tall, but that's okay, I have an eraser. Okay, put it in the vanishing point, line it up with that corner, and draw your next line. There we go. So it was too tall. That's okay. That's why we have erasers. And while I'm here, I'm going to erase this line too. Okay. All right. Now we need the top of our water fountain. Okay. And the side. So I'm going to continue using my vanishing point for the back side of the water fountain. You're just going to line that up with that corner. See that right there? And then just draw a line. And then. For this one, it needs to be parallel to the edge of the paper, so I'm going to use this line here to help me. Find that corner, and then just draw that line nice and straight, okay? And it looks a little weird, but that's okay. Erase that line. There's the top of our water fountain. Now, let's see. I'm just kind of guesstimating what that looks like. And the button sticking out. And there's always a drain, right? Okay, so there's our water fountain. Okay, so fountain and lockers, there they are, sticking out of the hallway, ready to be used. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it, and we will move on. Oh, Golly, I just realized you might not have seen all that. There we go. Sorry, guys. I hope you can figure it out. Okay.